They said gray, pave the way, change the rain, release the pain, least you sane, getting paid, trend set it brighter day, dope a rap, tight as set, high and deadly, I'm a fighter jet, Jeremy K. What's really good, ladies and gentlemen, it's the OG, Boric with Don Dada, a.k.a. Chef. I, oh my God, I wish he didn't do that because lately I've been on an anti-hammer stone kind of thing and he's rocking the shirt, you already know why. Mr. Muffins Martinez, please introduce yourself to these ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir. This is your boy, your Quantus Central Puerto Rican Muffin Jorge, a.k.a. Muffins Martinez. And, of course, Mr. Chef is a little sour note like he always is because he saw Mr. Hammer, the god from the Greeks, the, the man the, the from, from Hammerstone Mountain, become victorious last night against his boy EJ and Duca, who unfortunately is no longer with MLW after last night's match. But he has the upcoming match next month, which we'll see it against his homie, Jacob Fatu. Yeah. You know, now... Before people get crazy into this, because I asked you and we we kind of talked about this off air. Um, what you're seeing now is what I loved how they did the graphics. Let me say that they did the graphics. It looked dope as hell. It looked like a real fight, like a fight night kind of thing. I was like, this is cool. I dig it. I like how they presented everything. But the next set of tapings, like you were saying, it actually is when Reels is part of it and Bet Online is part of it. These were pre-taped before this and the deal happened after this. So we're, you know, we're getting this. They are implementing some little things to make it feel more like Reels is involved at this point, even though we do know it's coming up at this. Um, you also talked about how Fusion is going to be taped separate. So it will be two different shows. They're in, I think, Tijuana today, you Yes, said, right. Yep. I think they're right. Tijuana today. Yep. So we're we're already getting an influx already from reels to taking over, uh, not taking over, but being a part of MLW, and then also Fusion going to have its own thing. Now, what I asked you was, how do you think they'll separate it? Because if they use the same ring and layout, it just feels like uh, the same show, just on two different networks, right? And when actually, you know what you. How do they fix that? Well, no, but well, before we get into that, I just wanted to say how last night presentation, like you said, made yes. MLW look like major league wrestling. It actually yes. looked like a major league wrestling promotion last night from anything else that we've seen. You know, they came back in 2018. They were getting caught on fire. Then COVID hit. They had to do the whole no fan thing like they always did. Yeah. Then they had a little break. Then they came back in 2021 where I went and did all those shows there that year. And then 2022. And now we come to this. So this is the first time that they're able to say we finally made it because now they're in a top 25 channel now. You have WWE. You have AEW. And now you have MLW in a top 25 channel that's being seen by over 80 million home viewers, subscribers, or whatever. Yeah. So last night, it gave you that little feel. And, and like you mentioned earlier, a little uh, little pots and pits here that they put in, they just dropped in. So you saw the big bet online was everywhere. You saw the MLW videos right on the bottom of the screen and had those cool graphics. When when AJ, AJ and Duca came out to talk, you know, EJ and Duca, and they had the little facts. He threw out 10 guys at Lashes Battle Riot. Uh, he's one half of the tag team champions. He's a muscle builder champion, you know, bodybuilder. So they gave you that tough feel, like you mentioned. Next month, uh, the tapings that just happened on February 4th 
is when Rios go in full 100% hard in the whole production sense, everything will take over. So this right now is just a little, yeah, this right now is just a little preview, a little teaser, appetizer, if you will, up to give us of what is come is coming. But what I'm thinking they're going to do is like they did with NXT, with WWE, like they did with Impact, when they were having um uh, explosion. explosion, you know, you change the, the 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 bands around the rings, the post, and you put a different color scheme to your presentation, especially on the screen when the wrestlers come out. Well, you you will see the MLW fusion and give it a different feel because it is going to be two different shows going forward. I don't know how it's going to happen this month, but for sure. Going forward in March, we will see that difference when Wheels takes over, and it'll be the two different shows, and they make underground feel like a real company because it's gonna be either you watch it today or watch a replay the replay at one in the morning, or you're gonna miss out. Yep, because it's not it's not gonna be on YouTube. You might see bits and pieces of the matches like WWE does. And Impact does and AEW does where they give you a couple of minutes of the matches or whatever, but you're not going to find the whole show on YouTube. Now, Fusion, you're going to find it on YouTube because they're still going to do it on YouTube and still on Pro Wrestling TV and being sports. So definitely it gives you that big time feel. Like, damn it, I have to watch it now. I have to put my DVR on because if I don't, then I'm gonna have to hear Chef tell me what happened, or I'm gonna have to read it from you know the crap sheets and find out what happened. But it's not the same feeling. You're not watching it, then you're hearing it. Exactly. So it gives you it gives you the big time feel, and and I'm excited because you saw the little bit, you you saw the cool intro, you saw the the music they had attached to it, and you had that that guy's voice. I don't that guy who's famous for doing all those voices. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Nick down with a deep voice, you know. I got excited for it, like holy shit, you know, they actually gave me that big time feel. So you get excited for the product. You know, last night it was fast because there was a bunch of shit going on, a lot of introductions, a lot of promos, and then they gave you the main event where this was the first time I ever saw EJ EJ and Duca wrestle a long ass match like that. It was last night and I was like, holy shit, I can't wait to see him more. And now he's gone. Because <laughs> yeah. last night was the same night they gave the AEW Dark where he wrestled. So I think he had yeah. two matches, he said. Uh, I think he tweeted out, you know, I have two matches or something tonight or something. Yeah, like that. but last night, last night was the first match they showed him on TV. So the same night that he has the main event on in MLW, which I know the reason why I hate tapings. Or long yes. ass tapings, you know, that, that take this long to drop out. But hopefully by April, they'll be right on top of the, the taping where it'll be like I want to see maybe that week. It'll, it'll be taped, and then the following week is already on the TV, not waiting for yeah. a whole month to let us watch it. So, because right now, last night was January's tapings that we're watching now. Yeah. And then the ones that just happened now, very fourth, and then tonight in Tijuana is going to be in March. Nothing in March because all the tapings. And then April, it'll be the ones in New York and Philly. And then those will come out the following week. So it's going to be like a bump right there. Now, so. now yesterday also, um, now obviously, you know. I'm with Jacob Fatu. We always have this thing, right? Both of us, <laughs> both of us like Fatu. Both of us like Hammerstone. You're more of a Hammerstone, more of Fatu. Yes. But you've seen um, real one Enzo run up, you know, do his thing, sneak a tag, do what he got to do. And then, like you said, and I was a little like, ah, man, you know, I don't mind cursing, right? Like, I don't mind cursing. Hold well, on, so, so I, I, was right about, I, I was right about something for a change. Well, nah, you've been right a few times. Oh, so but but you you but you actually admitted that I was right about something though. 
All right, let me. Hey, you know what? Let's do this right. Let's do this right. <laughs> last show, last show, you said Hammerstone had to be the guy because demographics they want a certain look, right? Yes. Cool. Cool. I get that. You also said they don't want a guy who just curses all day, and not for nothing. Jacob Fatu, that's all he did last night, right? As soon as he opened his mouth, he went nuts. I get it. And it's taking nothing away from him. I like it. I do like it, but it's over the top, right? Like, you don't have to be, be so extra with it. No, you it, could say it, it, anything it, else. It, and throw a it few shows in there. Well, it, it shows, like you mentioned, it shows that he's real, he's raw. The raw emotion. Yeah. That's fine. I believe that. But. There's got to be a point that, you know, you got to remember now you're going to be on a, on a national TV more. And that's, you know, all that cursing, they're going to have to cut that out. Because if you watch the stuff before, you know, on, on wrestling TV or YouTube, they're cursing almost every other word, every promo they're cursing. Yeah. You know, now you, you can't do that now. You're going to have to, like, okay, we're going to find out if these guys can really call a promo or not without having to drop the F word yeah. or the B word in five minutes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And I'm, I like Enzo. You know, I wasn't oh. a fan of him prior. And we've talked about this, and he has grown yeah. and, and big time, right? The man can talk on the mic. No question about Facts. it. But he... He's a great heel who doesn't have to curse neither. Right? Exactly. Like, you see him, he does his thing. He can get under people's skin. He has grown in the ring. You know, he's not the same Enzo who was knocking himself out in NXT. You know what I mean? Like, so he has grown a lot. He's obviously taking it really serious. Um, I like the idea of him having a feud with Jacob Fatu real quick. And then I would like to see him drop down to... The middle weight, you know, open weight, you know, whatever. One of those two, just to see how well he could keep progressing. But keep showing me what you could do versus spot two, right? And I, I would love to see him in a match with Hammerstone. Oh, yeah. You know, like, I want to see him versus bigger dudes where can you withstand that beating? Can, are you going to gas out? Like, because these are things a lot of people don't realize with wrestlers. When they fight people their size... It's not crazy. They, their stamina goes. When you wrestle a bigger guy, or if you're a smaller guy, or if you're a bigger guy, can you keep up with the smaller guy? Because of his cardio, who's going to gas out, right? Like, because one guy is going to have the strength. The other guy is going to be, you know, athletic and everything else. So I want to see Enzo keep getting tested. Because if he keeps going forward, I have no problem with him having multiple belts and all that other good stuff. But good spot. I, I think it was just way too much cursing and that's surprising for me because i don't mind people talking crazy but there is at a point where you're like oh, come on dog like we we could talk better than this you know what i'm saying like we could definitely talk some shit without going over the top yeah, yeah now like now you take move to the next level now like we mentioned no bigger channel is gonna bring in viewers yep. You know, and right now, Reels is 90% original content. So, mm -hmm. they have the biggest show is a cop show. And I forgot the name of the cop show they have. This cop show, they do over 800 to 900,000 viewers every time because it's a live show. So, now you imagine yeah. you bring MLW Underground at a better time slot instead of 10. You put oh. it around 9. With the cop show leading the show into that show, you taking that nine hundred thousand viewers leading into the wrestling show for at least the first minute or two. Some of those people are going to stay with the show. Yeah, and then if you give another a cop show afterwards, people are coming in toward the end to see the ending to watch the cop show afterwards. And they might get excited. And say, oh, shit, let me watch this wrestling. Oh, it comes out next at this time. Uh, you know, you get viewers, you get viewership, you get eyes on the product. You have so somewhere you're gonna have to try changing the way people are are dressing, they're acting, 
you know, they're saying on, on there because it's being seen by more eyes than before. Now, I'm pretty sure this week or next week, we're going to see an actual trap number of numbers of who saw the show last night at 10 p.m. And we'll see yeah. going forward every week once people start finding out, oh, shit, MLW has a, or a new TV channel. We'll see what happens. And then we'll know where they rank, you know, between the viewerships to see if, if they actually are bringing in eyes or not. You know, you call yourself Major League I mean, Wrestling. 10 o'clock is, a, is a, a rough spot. Yeah, that's late. Yeah, that's late for Yeah, that's late. I'm sorry. I mean, I was happy because I got to see but they have on a Tuesday night, they got to bring that shit down to like eight. Yeah, eight o'clock because, I mean, yeah. work is nine the eight. next day, school's the next day. Yeah, eight, you know, nine, nine is pushing it. But eight would be yeah. perfect. Nine is pushing it, but all right. You know what? We, we talked about this. We like what we've seen. Now, Yes, oh, I saw it to an AB say something about Ashley. Who's Ashley? I have no idea. I think it's that one girl um on the front that I, I guess AB mentioned that she. Oh, was the okay. Because I was like, yeah, I was trying to figure out. Well, I didn't see nobody but her name Ashley, right? Like, yeah, yeah. She was on the front when uh, Enzo came up to her and like, oh, do you like this guy when Mans Warner came in the ring? And she goes, okay, okay, okay. and, she, and she was right next to him on, on the on the microphone. So okay, because I was like, what? I was like, what? Yeah. What are y'all talking about? Right? Like, yeah. So now we also see MLW is kind of tailoring into the the I think it's called Ricky Shane Page, um, Akira, Mance Warner, and yep. one called Manders because you're seeing a lot more hardcore stuff, yep. and you know, I, I'm curious. With reels coming in, like, remember, if it's two different shows, we got to have two different belts, right? Like, Fusion's got to have its set, and then this should have its own set, too. I mean, I, I, it's too early for that. I mean, I, I, it's only been one one episode. I'm pretty well, no, I'm sure. Saying eventually, be... it's got to be yeah. different, right? Like, I mean, you never know. I mean, they, they might keep it just the same way how it is. You know, but, but guys going but, back and forth. Yeah, but if they want to keep it separate, where they want to keep specific guys on, on, on the main show, specific on the other show, then yes, that makes sense when you are coming in with different, you know, tag teams and, you know, and, and more belts. But you already have three, you know, three singles belts. So I'm pretty sure one of those belts or two belts could go to the other show, you know, the open yeah. and the middleweight. And you have the heavyweight and tag team over here, and who knows, they might come out with a hard title. That's that's what I'm yeah, hoping I, for, know, right? That's like, what I'm, like, I'm like, hoping that like, they like in the days it'll be a giant boot or a belt buck, you know, because you know the bunkhouse then P. Yeah, that's how it was back in the days. It was it was a, I know it you, was, you talked about this prior, and I was yeah, asking it, you it was, it was a bronze, it was a bronze boot, it was made out of bronze. That was you know, you, you were the, the, the king of the bunkhouse brawls or a big belt buckle was a giant belt buckle that they knew, man. Because back in those days, those guys came in when, when they said, Come in as you are, they came in in jeans, cowboy boots, the biggest belt buckles, those uh, you know, Texan shirts, like uh. You know, the mountain people wear. Yeah, yeah. And they're themselves, you know, bandanas around their necks, those T-shirts with the four horsemen T-shirts, and they're busting out themselves up and there's boots, and cowboy boots everywhere in the ring. You know, and that made it special because it was the bunkhouse therapy back in those days. So, you know, it's different. It's not a belt, but it's a big statue that you carry. Yeah, like, this yeah. is mine. This is my shit. I, you know, this is mine. You know, for, for a baseball thing, Houston Astros, Texas Rangers, they play 18 times a year, and they play for a boot. It's called the the, the Lone Star State yes. boot. And and where right, right. wins exactly, and where wins the series for that year? Get more wins, gets the boot for that year. And the last, the first couple of years, it was always Texas killing our asses because we were we built in 13. 14, you know, all those years that we lost 100 games 
three years in a row, they were killing us. And one was the 2016 turnaround, we were taking that boot every year since. I like it because I, I love football, right? I grew up playing football and basketball. So um, with college football, like Army and Navy or Army and Air Force, they have like the uh, Army, Army and that, like, Navy. The military thing or yes. something, oh, right? Oh, God, like, dude, though, yeah, the, the biggest game of football college, we got 100 and what, 125 years? Yep. Army and Navy game? Shit. You Everybody know, watches always, that game. You always got rivalries that they yep. have some kind of, like you said, with the Rangers and the Astros. Yep. So I love that feel. I think it's a great idea. If they, you could run that back. I think a lot I of think. old school fans would really appreciate that too. Oh, dude, I would love to see your big giant bronze boot being carried around. I'm the, I think you, you want me to put this on the line, that big daddy? Oh, you know, know somebody can hit you know with it. Yeah. You go out there, you have yourself a nice 10, 15, 20 men battle royal. I did it in my boots. I'm back. I'm the champion, baby. Funk house that beat. You know, you know what? We talk everything real so far. We talk everything bet online. We talk some of the show. We got two more shows to hit them with. Before. Yeah, but, but, but I got one more thing. Though. But one more thing, man. That that's huge, though, man. The the bet line. Uh, yes. uh, uh You know, promotion or, or um, partnership that they have there with. Um, with uh, MLW, that, that's huge right there, and and big and also, eight promotion is gonna get some eyes on them. If if they oh, have yeah. those matches, you know, if they have the natural buys or some of these guys going forward on on the Tuesday show, you know, that's gonna be huge. You know, big eyes forward and gate going forward. Oh, for so. sure, for sure. So, um. Next topic, I know you're not really going to care about, but I forgot to do it earlier. That box right by my face, hit that. All our social media links, like, subscribe, oh, yes, yes. follow everything. I forgot it too. My fault. I forgot to. Do, <laughs> I forgot to do it earlier. I just seen it when I I would look over. Um, yep. For myself, big homie, we out of here. Deuces. Deuces.